Hello ladies and gentlemen, and anything on the outside and in between, and welcome back to another Prehistoric Kingdom speed build. And I say another one, uh, cause like half of my last video was speed build, the other half it wasn't. You know, it was kinda like, iffy iffy in between. I was just kinda testing the waters a little bit, and that video did. I'm opening it. Okay. But, you know, I decided that I should make a full video that's just straight up just speed build. So, if you do end up enjoying it, go ahead and give it a like and comment. So, if you do end up enjoying it, go ahead and give it a like and let me know in the comment section below that you did like it so I know to make more of this kind of thing. And if you guys don't like it or don't comment, you will never see this kind of video again. Um... JK, we'll see. And if you... And if you like Prehistoric Kingdom, if you like the Isle, if you like Path of Titans, that's all I record, stream, and upload. So, go ahead and subscribe. And if you really want to be a uh, team player, I don't know if I'm using that right. I have a Discord server, and the Discord... I have a Discord server in the description below. So go ahead and check that out. We talk about dinosaur games, dinosaurs, Godzilla, TV shows, music, all the good stuff. All right. Let's get into it. All right, so... So today we're working on Alliance Ethereum and Sign Ethereum. I'm just lumping them into the same video because both their enclosures were small and really easy and you know, they're basically the same species. They're really close. One's just kind of smaller and hairless. So right now I'm kind of, I was looking at other enclosures like, okay, what did I do for these ones? Is there anything like I like about these ones I want to implement into the new ones that I'm making? So here, I think a good majority of this little segment is like, okay, what do I want to do and how do I want to do it? And I was kind of really clueless. Which, you know, I think is understandable. It's a new species. I don't know how I want to implement it at all. So I think, yeah, here I'm just messing around with the paths. Like, okay, this is the general idea of what I want. How do I execute it is what I'm working on right now. <clears throat> and guys, I will not lie to y'all. I am not a good prehistoric kingdom builder. What I do is I, I go to the Steam Workshop and I look at prefabs. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. That would look cool in an enclosure. So I make the enclosure that it would look cool in. That's, that's about as far as I go. I don't make a whole lot of these... I kind of just play around with stuff that other people made. But you know, if you think that makes me a bad prehistoric kingdom builder, yeah, I'll agree. See, yeah, I got that, which is basically the whole entire enclosure. But I've been, I had it for so long, like a year or so now, and I've never found the right enclosure that I wanted to use it for. So at some point, I looked at rhino enclosures and then I saw this, I'm like, huh, that looks similar, and especially looks similar to the ones that I've seen in person. So here I'm just placing the stone fences, uh, the new stone fences specifically. Because, you know, they deserve, they deserve some love. I haven't seen them used yet on anything. They might have been, and I just completely missed out on it. Here I'm placing the habitat markers, so the game thinks this in habitat for the... I think this is Sinotherium, specifically. The Sinotherium. And I specifically liked it because it had that little stable thing in the background over there. And I think that was like the, the sugar on the cream for me. 
And then I couldn't place any uh, boreal plants in the enclosure, but I did place them around because it, it, it felt right. They're new. Well, I don't think those trees specifically are new, but it's the boreal update. Might as well play around with them a little bit. So here I'm placing sand because like how much the, I'll just call them rhinos, how much the rhinos are walking around and stuff. So like on the outside edges, it would be grass because when I walk in over there as often. I promise this ends up looking better. <laughs> so now I go to play some rocks. You can never go wrong with a good rock. I said it once and I'll say it a billion trillion times. I love me a good rock. And then you can't go wrong with a good log on a good rock. It's wonderful. But here I'm placing grass on the outskirts. And I think it really brought the whole enclosure all together, the grass on the outside. And I place our first sign Ethereum. Got a couple more in there. And I think... Um, yeah, it's time for some cinematic shots of the sign Ethereum. All right, now it's time to get to the the Elasmotherium. So I'm placing the just one guy so I can see his habitat requirements and whatnot. So the Elasmotherium enclosure, I think, is a little bit more rough. Again, I am not good at this game. That's why I'm in sandbox and in year 12 of said sandbox. So yeah, I wanted to place a restaurant at the corner because I thought it would be nice, but the, the best thing I ended up getting was that, which I guess looks cool. And it, it fits the uh, viewing thingy next to it. Uh, and what I'm now realizing is that I'm meant to make that a burger joint and uh, that place sells clothes. So... You know, that that tells you a little bit of how much of a prehistoric kingdom gamer I am. So I wanted to do a little bit more of a higher security fence. And uh, like, I mean, they got the bigger horn to the bigger creature. There should be a little bit more security when it comes to handling them. Just wrap the fence around the forest. All right, now that it's an actual enclosure, I placed some water. And I think I overdid it with the snow like heavily, but. Also, I feel like the snow lacks texture. At least when I look at it, it looks like just pure white. Don't know what that was about. But yeah, I messed up the terrain to get a little bit more natural look. Which thinking about it, I probably should have done it with the other one, but that's okay. I'll live. So now I want to do like a staple type thing for this one too. 
Because, like, I see it in rhino enclosures all the time. I seem getting confused with another animal, but I'm pretty sure that they exist, and I'm not crazy. Now it is rock time. Man. I love rocks. Place some more forest a little bit to give it more of a natural look. They're very they're two very different takes on the um Sign Ethereum and Alignment Ethereum. I did two very different things. Here I'm placing more stone fence. There we go. And then I'm filling that up just to pretty it up a little bit. And yeah, I don't think I don't think I do anything else much important. So let's get on to the cinematic shots. So if you do, if you did end up enjoying, go ahead and give it a like. If you want to see more of this kind of thing, go ahead and comment and let me know. And if you want to see more dinosaur game media stuff, go ahead and subscribe because that's all I do. Thank you. Thank you. 